Hello subscriber, it's me, Cassidy Quinn, and it is 12.05 in the morning, which is almost a normal time to be making a video. At least it's a normal time to be waking up. That's a step up, right guys? Anyways, today I want to try a new thing with you guys, subscriber. Instead of telling you guys, going on and on about my day, because my days aren't very exciting, especially when it's not a video edited together, because that at least makes my life look more exciting and fast-paced. Anyway, I'm going to try a new thing, where I talk to you guys about all of the buzz going on in social media about a newsworthy topic. So the topic I want to talk to you guys about today is coach or ex-coach of the Penn State football team, Joe Paterno, was just fired about almost an hour ago. So it's very newsworthy, hot off the press of the interwebs. And if you guys don't know the whole story, you should just Google it because I'm not going to tell you the whole thing. But basically he was fired. The school's board of trustees decided to fire him before the end of the season, because he was going to retire at the end of the season anyway. They decided to fire him before the end of the season, right now, tonight, because in the wake of a sexual abuse scandal involving an assistant coach, and he didn't really do anything about it when he heard about it originally. So, he's fired, done, done so. So, now, everyone in the Twitter sphere, specifically, is going crazy about this. People are saying all kinds of things. Someone said, I wouldn't let Paterno babysit my kids, is all I'm saying. Which, yeah, I probably wouldn't either, but I definitely even more wouldn't let the assistant coach babysit my kids. Someone named Damon Bruce said, Joe Paterno has probably never heard of Twitter, but he's melting it tonight. Which is true. I mean, I'm sure he has heard of Twitter, but I don't know if he has a Twitter, or if he ever tweets from it, but he's definitely hot on the Twitter sphere press tonight. Uh, other tweets... Someone said, I don't even have the facts straight, I just know Paterno is short and looks pedophile-ish. That's a little, a little uncalled for. <laughs> Other fun facts from Twitter. Stuart Scott said only 60% of Twitterers agree that Paterno should have been fired. What the heck is he following? I put it at 98%, which I agree with that person. That was a, by a tweeter named Joshua Holmes, and I definitely would say that most of the tweets I'm reading are from people who agree that he should be fired, not just 60% of people. Basically, there's a million tweets. I refreshed this five minutes ago, and now it still says there's 160 new tweets just under the search Paterno on Twitter, and now 20 new tweets in the last 30 seconds. Anyway, more tweets going on. Basically, right now, also, there is a huge crowd of people crowding outside of Paterno's house to try to get a look at what he's doing, what his wife is doing. His wife came out and was crying. He must be having a tough time because he just found out he was fired like an hour ago. So, I guess, oh, I just saw a tweet from ESPN. He's coming out of his house right now, Paterno. So, if you're watching this video, go turn on ESPN. Watch Joe Paterno come out of his house. Someone else said, reading about this is making me feel sick. Can't go through my Twitter stream anymore. Sad. Uh... Here's a quote from Paterno two minutes ago. I appreciate the outpouring support, but I want to emphasize that everyone should remain calm and please respect the university. Because a lot of people from Penn State are probably going crazy right now. They're going to throw some kind of riot. I don't even know what's going on. No one can know. Uh, yeah, so I just want to tell you guys, that is what's going on in the Twitter sphere. Basically, everyone is going crazy. There's so much buzz going on around Joe Paterno. Um... Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think he should have been fired? Do you think the school board of trustees should have let him finish out the season? I don't really know what I think. I guess I agree that he should have been fired, but I'm going to stay biased on this one and let you guys make the decision, subscriber. So, um, do you think I should do this more often, where I just talk about the buzz going on around different newsworthy topics? Then let me know. Like this video, because um, I really like Twitter, so this is fun. To do. Anyway, I'm going to go to sleep now, and I'm really sorry I didn't post a video yesterday. I didn't have any time. Anyway, good night, subscriber. Love you, as always.